So this chest x-ray has a finding that is very commonly missed and it can be life threatening for patients. So a lot of you have said that this is a normal looking chest x-ray and when you look at it up front it just it does, does look like a normal looking chest x-ray but let us dissect this chest x-ray based on the approach that we have learned in our previous video and previous lectures so we begin with looking at the trachea the trachea is central but uh, we know that normally trachea should have a slight right-sided deviation because of the left-sided aortic arch however this looks to me like a straight trachea now sometimes it can be because of rotation sometimes it can be significant finding maybe uh, an insignificant finding let's 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 see what happens then we move on uh, and look at the carina the carina looks okay to me then we look at the aorta the pulmonary artery the ap window uh, the heart the right side of the heart then we look at the as eco esophageal recess that also looks uh, normal to me now we look at bilateral hyla the hyla also looks normal to me then we move on to looking at the lung fields now, uh, now when we look at the lung fields we compare the densities of bilateral lung fields uh, if it's possible we zoom into each of the lung fields if it's not possible we uh, give it a bird's eye view so uh, on on um, on my first look i see that the, the right lower zone is uh, a little bit more dense i would say compared to the left side so if this is the right lower zone and this is the left lower zone the right lower zone uh, looks to me as if it's a little bit more opaque uh, and then uh, when you compare the upper zones compared to the left upper zone the right up upper zone is more radiolucent so that tells you something right now we move on to look at uh, looking at the pleura, uh, this white line that I'm tracing right now is the pleural margin. In a normal healthy lung, in a normal healthy individual, you are not able to differentiate between the pleura and the uh, uh, chest wall. But if you try to trace the pleural margin on the right side, there's an interesting finding here. You can actually trace, trace the pleural margin of the lung margin deep within the within the thoracic cavity so a presence of a hyperlucent apical area with a positive pleural margin gives you the diagnosis of pneumothorax so this is actually a patient with right-sided pneumothorax right now uh, we do not stop here now for some people this pneumothorax might have been uh, quite uh, obvious from the beginning so the reason why we started looking at the trachea is because we do not want to miss other findings that there may be. So what do we do next? We look at the bones. Uh, the bones are clavicle here, the spinous process of the vertebra, the vertebral column. Uh, behind there we have the scapula bone and the humeral head. Uh, so these are the bones that we can see and in a patient with pneumothorax, it's very important to also look at the ribs. In a future video, we will talk about how to count the ribs, but essentially, uh, we also look at the entire length of all of the ribs. And finally, we look at the diaphragms and beneath the diaphragm into the abdomen because uh, upper abdomen is also a part of uh, chest x-ray. In a trauma patient, sometimes there might be gas under diaphragm which might be missed. Again, which uh, if picked up can be a significant finding. So. Uh, all in all this uh, case is a case of right-sided pneumothorax now if you had difficulties with diagnosing right-sided pneumothorax in this patient and want to learn more how to uh, uh, look at chest x-rays and diagnose things uh, if you want to learn more about how to read a chest x-ray we do have a youtube video please follow us in our youtube channel in july we will have part two of basic chest x-ray interpretation class so please sign up for that we will be sending out information about part two to all our general members so please don't forget to fill up the general membership form and please don't forget to follow us in all of our social media thank you for watching